Hello my fine fowls and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Calm Design and today I'm just going to share with you things that I've bought recently or I have been given as gifts because I just had my birthday, I went out on a little splurge and I got some things as gifts. So let's look at the stuff that I've got recently. All right, let's dive in. All right, so the first thing that I will say is if you watched my gift guide and wish list for 2022, then you'll know that on my wish list were a couple of things. And one of them, the big kind of big gift was an iPad and the Procreate app. My husband bought me an iPad for my birthday and I bought myself Procreate. So yes, so I'm hopefully going to be designing some things on there. I already love it. I just haven't had a lot of time to put into it, but that hopefully will be changing in 2023. All right, so let's look at what I received from my friend. And this is for my birthday. So this is just some of the things that she sent me. So I've got two dotted notebooks here. She knows that I like the dot grid. What I might do with this one, because it is the eight and a half by the five and a half, like the half letter size, I am gonna do this size for my tarot journal. I may kind of cut these out and use them in my tarot journal. This one, I am not sure what I'm going to do with yet, but I like having stuff like this in my stash anyway. But yes, those are beautiful. She threw in some of the sticker sheets, just a few. We usually do stuff like this, but yeah, some sticker sheets. There's some dashboards. There's a little traveler's notebook thing. There are some tabs. I always love stuff like this and I liked that they coordinate with these. So that's great. And these are bloody adorable. So if you didn't know, I just recently got a new Dalmatian and this is a little notepad set and this is magnetic. So it closes and then there's just a sheet of notepads with a little Dalmatian at the bottom. I bloody love it. There was also some other things that weren't kind of planner related, but I've not included them in this video. And there's also these. Now I haven't got anything like this, so I'm kind of excited to see what these are like because I was thinking of getting something like this because I love, if you know me, you'll have seen my wellness planner spreads and I use the, the bullets quite a lot to kind of put a little bullet where my meal planning and stuff is. So yes, I don't know what brand these were. They were, I think, something that she picked up on her travels, but these are very cool. I really like them. They're almost like a washi bullet. I kind of like those, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like those. Let me get a little scrap of paper from somewhere, I don't know where. I clearly don't have any, so we're gonna take this those I really kind of like those I'm hoping that they match some of the happy planner stuff I think they will and I'll have a look in a minute but I think they will especially this color because they do like these kind of blues and mints the teal and the mint colors so I'm hoping that they go with some of those colors yes I am very excited to use these and if these end up being something that I use a lot of I might order some in kind of regular colors, regular colors, you know what I'm saying, colors that I use quite a lot because I have black and I have gold. I would like some silver. So that's probably one of the things on my new wish list that I'm going to have. So things that were on my wish list were these three things. If you saw my wish list, you'll know that one of the things on my wish list were some thick calligraphy pens because I had the the brush pens from the Pentel brush pens. I have those in different colors. I have the Tombow for Denisuke. And I just wanted something a little thicker that I could write in my planner. And now, now I do. 
but yes, I kind of like these. I got these on a whim. They were a Black Friday, Cyber Monday kind of deal. And these are the Amazon Basics. Now I paid, I think I paid $3 for them and I've got 12. <laughs> I've got 12. Now here's the thing. I think they do bleed a little bit through the Happy Planner paper. I was going to get some and test it. So let's have a look. I just have this one nearby because I've been working in this planner. Did I put that back in there? I did. Why did I do that? Let's see. Yeah, they don't bleed. Okay, never mind. There is a little bit of ghosting, but they don't bleed. So I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of ghosting, but again, you're going to have to be on the right light to see that. But I was like, you know, for $3, it was worth a try. And I've been really happy with them. So yes, and I've got all of those. But again, Amazon Basics. And I said this all the time. I said this in a previous video. If you're looking for like pen, the like the paper mate flare, Amazon basics do a paper mate flare type thing that work just as well. And again, Amazon basics, no bleed. So yeah, and again, I will leave the, leave a link to most of the things down below that I can, but that was one of the things I wanted to get. And I've been very, very happy with those. I've been using them a couple of weeks now and I like having something that's a little bit thicker. The one thing that I will say is Compared to the Tombow, um, let's do a T. Can you see that it's a different color black? Oops, it's a different color black. This is more, the, the Padena Suke is more of a yellow, yellowy black. Amazon Basics is more of a bluey, purpley black. So there's definitely a difference in the blackness of them, but for three dollars it was worth a gamble and I actually kind of like it. So the other thing that I got was this washi tape pack and I'm going to be honest I love this little box but yeah I got this I want a grid and I got these so I'm going to take these out and do a little thing but yeah I kind of like the grid as I've been using more pen and washi lately I am drawn to the grid and because I want to do more bullet journal style stuff in my tarot journal I'm like I just want to do some grid and washi and pen and stuff like that so yeah I love it I love it and comes off nicely actually Compared to regular washi, it doesn't take the white out off the, the page that well, so that's good. Sticks great, comes off fine. So yeah, I'm excited to kind of try these as the time goes on, but it just, I think there was, how many was there? Hang on, I should have counted that before. So there's 18, and I think I paid less than $10 for 18 rolls. And as you can see, there's different shades, even, I mean, even the ones that look similar, they're all slightly different. And I liked this one because the Happy Planner stuff, some of it is bright, like these two. And then some of it is kind of muted, like these two. So that's why I got this set. So yes, I am happy with those and what I will do I think is I might just put those back in there and then I know where they are and then I can put that in my drawer so that's those and this I'm going to put in my little um, things to use in other projects pile things to use in other projects all right so the other thing that I wanted to get if you remember was one of these I love my exacto don't get me wrong but I I struggle I struggle with knowing whether it's cutting through. I dull the blade quite a lot. I have lost the cap to this as well. And yeah, I, I am not the best of people with these things. So I figured why not get one of these slice tools. So that's what I did. Got myself a slice tool. 
and I've got this on here. Oh, that oh that that is very weird. Like the feeling of it cutting is weird, but I kind of like it. But I, the feeling is a bit weird compared to um, compared to like regular knife. But yeah, I figured why not just try it and then see. But that oh, the cap fits way better than the other one. That was the problem with the the other knife the cap just didn't seem like it was secured on it very well so that is going in my tool kit right there i did get some of this double-sided red tape i've been using the red line tape a while and i this is the hobby lobby one it was i think 40 percent off the 3.99 and i was like you know i'm just going to try it because I will be doing the One Little Word workshop and I'll be using more thicker items. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to see if I want to try some off-brand, I'm going to call it off-brand red line tape and just see. Oh yeah, that's nice and secure okay perfect okay that's way cheaper than than the other brand let me tell you way cheaper especially at 40 percent off that's a deal that's a deal all right so the other thing let me just get this stuff off my desk and then we'll talk about these so one of the other things that i bought from hobby lobby was was it hobby lobby yeah from hobby lobby was this this again was 40 percent off so again, I don't pay full price. This was $19.99, 40% off. Now I got this because when I was thinking again about the, the, what's it, the One Little Word workshop, which I just signed up for, which is the Ali Edwards One Little Word workshop, um, I, I had every plan of going bright and colorful. I really did. And then I saw this and for some reason, I got suckered in. I don't know. I just, it spoke to me. It spoke to me and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this. And I think it's because with the workshop, you get the digital kit and I have like some of the digital things from the previous years. And the digital kit has a lot of like craft colored things in it. And I think I'd subconsciously been drawn to this so I just got this and again I've got 30 sheets all 12 by 12 but I've got two of each page three of each page no they're different no they aren't they're, they're, they're the same so these are embossed three of each page I love this one love this one because I love me some dots but the back side is just like plain craft love this because I love grid this one I'm not keen on but Again, I can just use the back side and just use the craft. Love this. Love, love me some stripes. Love me some dots. This is just a like a floral print. This is like a doodly leaf. Geometric pattern. Again, kind of a clover on it on here. But again, I use a lot of this kind of just craft sheet paper. So, um, yeah, I was kind of happy when I saw this because I just feel like I wish it was like white, like it is here, but it's fine. So I'm just going to, I'm thinking like my planner, my planner, my One Little World Word journal will be craft white, black and grey, I'm thinking, with maybe pops of colour here and there. That is my feeling for the vibe of that planner and this is really sticky now but other than that what else I bought was I went to Joanne's and I had all these hopes of finding all the new books and they didn't have any they didn't have any they had like a couple but my Joanne's absolutely sucks so um, what I did was I bought these this is a new one this is from 2022 this one is from 2018 and 
again, I think I'd been influenced by these dots and the colourful stuff and the pops of colour, but I just, I love this one. This is the Essential Home, again, I think it is from this year, but I love that there's, again, I'm not that keen on the foil, but I love that it's kind of neutral. And then you've got colours, because you know that I love me some colour, but they kind of went with these colours a little bit and these colours and if you were looking at the pet books that I bought recently they also go with those colours so I love these like the little trash icons, the little grocery ones, the water like I just yeah I kind of liked the icons I liked these too so it just had a lot of things these are great 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 it had a lot of things that I liked. Same ones, but these are in foil. These are beautiful. So this will be one, just like my planner basics and planner essentials, that will live like right on my desk. And if I need to, I will just pull from it whenever I can. That's what I'm thinking, is that it's just one that I pull from to see if it matches any of the spreads. I don't really like these. I will probably just cut these into circles. Um, but yeah. And again, these were 50% off in the doorbuster sale. But I found this one and I'd not seen this one. I had the other colorful boxes, but this seemed like it was more than just colorful boxes. These are great. I like these. And again, you, you don't have to keep them like this. You can cut them, cut them into individual boxes. I love the little bullets. I love the bullets. I love the boxes. I actually kind of like these, which is, which surprised me, even though they're, they're short, like they're, they're not that long, but yes, I kind of like them. And the other thing that I liked about them was again, you've got three distinct color schemes here these that are kind of more pastels and i do have like a pastel -y rainbow book and i'm thinking like the the tropical boho and stuff like that so there's going to be something that should fit all of these but yeah these are the ones that are kind of weird but they'll work they'll work i liked these like the redating type of things but i wish there were also numbers to go with them but you could use these I guess as your numbers for your redating so yeah I kind of liked them even these I kind of like these and I can put my own either a clear sticker over the top or my, just my own like handwriting over the top but yeah and I love stuff like this where I can I'm going to circle a word I can underline a word I can like, do arrows to a word but yeah I like these and again like I said like the redating stuff yeah I was really happy that I found this one and again it's it's an older one but I like it so that was my haul that I did recently there are a couple of more things coming but they're just like adhesive refills and stuff like that the only thing that I, I wanted if you remember was the corner puncher like the crocodile but the, the corner puncher one I cannot find one locally and on Joanne's website even though they're listed at half price they're not mailing them so I don't even know what to say about that but yeah that's about it so let me know I will try and link everything that I can down below um, but yeah some things I'm not gonna be able to because I don't know where they're from but most of the things that I can I will link down below um, if you enjoyed this then give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what you have bought recently that is kind of planner or craft related. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. All right, bye.